Hello and welcome. I'm Suzanne Herzog. I was independent candidate for U.S. Senate. And you're back for another episode of Cooking with the Candidate and Coffee and Conversation. And today I'm going to share with you a very popular recipe among my friends and family and campaign team. These are high fiber chocolate muffins. So it's all the deliciousness without the guilt, or maybe just a little guilt if you eat a lot of them. Full of good things that are very satisfying and wholesome. So what we start out with is we have a cup of whole wheat flour. What's so great about this recipe is you throw everything in a bowl and mix it. There's very little to do. Let's get this out of the way. And we have three fourths of a cup of coconut flour. We use coconut flour because um, it has a lot of fiber and I think a lot of nutritionists think it has a lower glycemic index so it's kind of a more complex carb. It's absorbed a little more slowly and you have a cup of sugar. Now a cup of sugar might seem like a lot but the original recipe has two cups of sugar uh, but you really only need about half of that. And here we have three-fourths of a cup of cocoa and then we need um, a teaspoon of salt. Okay, and as always, we add some good old milled flaxseed because all these baked goods are full of fiber and love. Add about a teaspoon and a half of baking soda. Now here's a tip, when I do baking soda, I try to make sure all the lumps are out. So we'll make sure the lumps are out before we add. And we add a teaspoon and a half of baking powder. There we go. Now that we've thrown all the dry ingredients in there, there's no need to sift these kind of recipes. I'm just going to mix it up with the beater itself. Make sure we've combined the dry ingredients at least a little bit before we throw everything else in there. Okay, so to the dry ingredients, we add a half cup of olive oil and a full cup of milk. Actually, a little more than a cup of milk because, you know, when you add... Um, but when you use all whole wheat flour, and we add coconut flour in particular to something, you need a little extra liquid. So that's about a cup and a fourth of milk. Sometimes I use half milk and half buttermilk. We're going to throw in a couple eggs. Oh, we can't forget the vanilla. Now I have forgotten the vanilla, and they're still pretty good, but uh, it's much better if we make sure we add a good full two, two teaspoons of vanilla. Now we're going to mix our high fiber chocolate muffins on high for at least two minutes and in the meantime we're going to be boiling some water. Okay well this has been beating for a couple minutes and to this we're going to add a little more than a cup of boiling water. Now if this seems like a familiar chocolate cake recipe to you it may be. I created this healthy high fiber chocolate muffin recipe with modifications to an old Hershey's cocoa recipe where you would throw everything in a Okay, now we've beat in the boiling water and we have the perfect muffin batter ready to go. So this can make 24 small muffins or I like to make 12 small muffins and six larger ones here. I also, just to make them a little more decadent because we've been good, we've offered some high nutrition with some substance here, some high fiber. We can make it just a little more decadent by adding a few chocolate chips on top. If you do that, they're not going to sink in under the batter, so it's good to poke them just under the surface with a toothpick before putting them in the oven. 